brother. How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Good to see you in a minute, brother. I know, man. When's the last time I saw you? Fuck, uh, I think. Was it Twine? Yeah. No. Yeah. Called you for AP's video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like, four months ago, maybe? Like July, August time? Yeah, it's just COVID, but I feel like fucking a lifetime, bro. Yeah, don't you think, like, doesn't it feel like time's fucking, like, off? It's like, it like, when off, people bro. ask me, they're like, yo, when did you shoot that video? I'll be like, oh, it was last week, you know? But really, it was, like, a month ago. Like, my brain is all, like, off and shit. It's trippy. I swear to God. It doesn't feel like two years already. I was just gonna say that. It's going out, what, longer than two, no? Yeah. 2019, I think it started. But it started when I was in Colombia. You were in Colombia when Yeah, when it first like hit the news, so we didn't even we didn't even know if our fucking we we're gonna get stuck there or not, right? Holy fuck! But thankfully, we got back. So you, <laughs> either way, I would have stayed. You heard about it in Colombia? Yeah. So you're like, I even got sick out there. Yo, you probably I, got COVID in Colombia. I swear, I ne- you never know, bro. Yo, you, you know how many people I think caught COVID already and just didn't know the like system they, was so strong they yeah, didn't even they, know they just beat it and thought it was a normal cold. Yeah. I swear. I, t- I talked to a lot of people that around that time were like fucking, they got dead sick, man. Dead sick. Bro, I, so this is December 2019. Um, I took a week off work because I was, and I never do that. I might take one or two days. I took a week off work because I was rare. so fucking sick, man. I was See? crazy sick. And you beat it. Yeah, I beat it. I was fine. But I, was, I remember thinking, I was like, yo, this is, this one's bad. Like, I was like, I haven't been sick but like did this you, in a long but time. Did you even know about um, COVID at that time? Nah, man. I, it was like, I think there was like one or two cases over in, in China. I think it was like at that time. It was so December. It's like Christmas. That's when it was, um, we're seeing the bat videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Blamed on the bats. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think it came from? I hate the truth, man. I think it was. Well, they say that shit's been around for years and years. Yeah, in a lab just sitting there, waiting to when the right time to put it up. Me, the first thing that came to my mind when all this shit happened was, <coughs> look at BLM. That was a, that was the biggest movement in the world at the moment. As soon as you heard of COVID, yeah, you never heard of BLM, BLM till now. Like till I said it, who told, who talked about it? That's interesting. They kind of used that's that what to I, like, like silence what was because you're you're right, man. Or it's. it's to the public, COVID's way more important because there's millions of people dying in China, in Canada, in America. So what's gonna be on the news 24 seven? Yeah. It's statistics of who's sick and who's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't yeah. care that, oh, there's still slave, like basically slavery. Yeah, yeah. It's still going on in 2021. Well, remember the George Floyd, like thing was happening right when COVID was hitting. Yeah. I remember because everybody in the, the protests were in their masks, they had masks on, remember? Yeah. They all had masks and shit. Yep. Then little baby dropped that song, uh, the bigger picture. Remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. It was right around that time. It was, it was like it was, Yeah, it was right around that time. Yeah, it, it was like last summer. I think it was like twenty twenty yeah. summer or something. Summer. Maybe before summer a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. Around those times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it's it's yeah, I th- I could be a media like that are kinda like put it out there That's to what kind I of thought, like, like stride away from that, you know what I mean? Like yeah, worry about this definitely. instead of this, you know? Definitely, because if you really think about it, if you get sick right now and go to the hospital and you and you like God forbid you pass away from from an illness that you've been living with your whole life, ninety mm-hmm. percent of the time they're chalking it up to you die from COVID. Oh my God, that's what they're doing. You know, they're like uh, I'm doing a little bit of research on this. It was like they're say yeah, like you're an old lady or something, and you go to fucking. Uh, the hospital and you die of natural causes. If you had, if you tested positive for COVID, but you didn't die from it, then writing down as a COVID death. Yep. They're putting it down in the statistics. So the stats are so like, in, 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 like in, inflated or whatever the fuck you want to say. When it first came out, they didn't even know how to really test for COVID. Yeah. That no swab was not a test. I know, man. Like, to well, me, was, that wasn't a test. That was one of my buddies went. Up. He went and got tested, right? Got got a positive test, test and it was like I don't feel anything. This is weird. Went again like, and got a negative. Yeah, I got a negative one, and then it was like, what the fuck? You know See? what I mean? Like, where, where do I believe type shit? You know? Exactly. Like, I know a lot of people that happen to, mm-hmm. so it's not really adding up to me. That's very. Unless nice. I see somebody in front of me, sick, dying from COVID. I'm not. I can't say I know somebody that died from COVID. You know, do you know anybody that's had it? Well, they like they say. Like one of my, like my previous bosses, like he tested. died from from COVID. Like he was well, fine. Right. Let me at the at the site working, 
and the next week he died. And they say from COVID. Was he boxed? He was double vaxxed. That's interesting. So that's why I'm like, they're just, they're doing it for numbers. That's fucking weird, man. It's like, they're not ready for us to be back outside and having fun. No, nah, man. They're, 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 you know how much money? Got? Yeah, they say they, they wasted a lot of money giving us, um, giving us all this um, CRB and all that this year. But you know how much money they saved? You know how much money they made from the boxing nature? Exactly. Yeah. Or even saved, they, we didn't have Caravana, we didn't have a lot of shit. Yeah, saved. dude. No, you're right. They saved a lot of money. Yeah. And you, yo, dude, here's an interesting thing. Go look up when you're, uh, when you got some free time, go look up Doug, Doug Ford's net worth before the COVID pandemic and then after. Yo, just get probably up 20 mil. Just get 20. You think 20? Bro, guess how much his net worth is right now. 95 hell. It's a little, it's 50, it's 50 though. 50? But well, before, I'll just think before I don't the pandemic, it was dollar beer. 3 million. Imagine making $47 million onto your net worth in a fucking 18 month period. What do you, cause, uh, you know do you why? Think he's making that? Because his family owns a company that prints labels. So you know when you're in a grocery store and you see the like, walk this way fucking arrow, or yeah, the yeah. wear your mask shit, or this sign, or that sign for COVID. Yeah. His family is, pumping that shit out and oh, selling wow. them to, so the more, it's like, it's obviously a booming industry right now. Everybody needs fucking a hundred fucking signs for COVID shit, right? Definitely. So yeah, man, it's, it's just, it's so interesting, man. Like, is it really what it seems to be? You know what I mean? But I swear, can we invent dollar, dollar beers too? That's where he owns that shit. I, I, yeah, I think he does. I don't, I'm not sure too much about that. I, I can't talk about that. I don't, but yeah. I he, remember you, he was why would he be promoting about, about that? Yeah, why would he promote it if he doesn't, right? have some type of sponsor by it or something, you know? That's done for it for you, bro. But yeah, man. He looks shifty. Yeah, he's fucked. Um, I wonder how Rockford would have handled it, you know? Rockford, maybe. I don't know, he looked, he looked more... I'm not, he's more in, into what people needed. He looked... Yeah, he's a people, I mean, yeah. I know he had his... He had his, he was fighting his demons too. It is what it is. Everybody's fighting demons. Well, that's what but he would have been better than for People related to him because of that shit. Exactly. They're like, oh fuck, he's not some fucking whatever, you know, high end fucking used to sell here just exactly. living his life, you know? Even he though went he's a fucking through, crack. You can tell he went through some shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely if you were smoking crack. Yeah. If he's smoking crack, crack what's shit? Doug doing, bro? You know, they both got a vice. Doug's probably go. fucking. There you go. Child who's the older? Who's the older? Doug or. Oh fuck, I don't even know. Like, I don't honestly don't know. You have to look that up. I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past. Yeah, come from that family. But yo, so uh, let's talk a little about. So you, you grew up. Where did you grow up? You grew up in Alexander Park. Yes, sir. <coughs> you're kind of like a OG from there. You're not even that old though. But you're like you know well known in the neighborhood. People thirty. You're thirty. Yeah. So you did a little documentary walk through your hood recently. Yes, yes, sir. Capital. Friends, yes, sir. That's my little bro. He's, he's, I, like, he's doing his thing. I support everything he does. I mean, I'll be there anytime he calls me. It's a good, it's a good look. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. No, it's cool. I, I watched it. It was dope. You know, I, I like need that to, shit. We need to see things like that. People are gonna. People in the states want to know more about Canada's fucking hoods exactly. and shit. They'll type it in. They'll look at it. You know what I mean? The Gina, they look at Gina Pinch videos all the fucking time. Like, you know what I mean? So, why not Alexander Park, right? Our hood, basically, Toronto hoods are built off of, like, New York hood, like, the, the geographic, like, how they made it and everything. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Like That's hard, why it's like, so similar. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had people come from the States and be like, yo, I f this feels like where I grew up type of shit. Yeah, How yeah, the yeah. buildings are made, the entrances, like, the lobbies. You can't tell me that the chilling. Regent Park area looks like Chirac area. Like, it's fucking similar, bro. You see? Cause like, you know what I mean? Like, the same, like, they look, they even look The downtown right? hoods, like, there's only two downtown hoods that were the original. It was them and us. Okay. They okay. were the original ones made. Mm -hmm. And they were, like, they say that we were made, both neighborhoods were made off of, um, how do you, um, how do you say, Cabrini Green? That, that neighborhood where they, um, they fill candy, man. Ooh, I don't even know. Cabrini Greens. I think that's how you say it. Okay. So it was built off of something like that. Our buildings and how the house is connected to some of the buildings and shit. Right, right. That's how they say it was kind of, it was emulated like the states. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, because like, so, Alexander, what, do you know like the history of Alexander Park? Do you know like 
when it when it was built? Near I think? Yeah, over, over, it's over a hundred years. Like at least a hundred years. Yeah, okay. We're almost there. Yeah, for sure. You know who's named after? Who's 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 Alexander? Who, uh, Alexander Park? Yeah, like who's it named after? Do you know? Alexander Park is basically Alexander is let's see how we do it is like when we pass when somebody from the neighborhood passes away <coughs> and lived there for a long time, mm -hmm. they could get like a lane or a street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just gotta you just gotta put people have to sign um how much like permits or like whatever petition, it is. A petition. petition. There yeah, you go. yeah. Something True. like that. Where? So like now how um, it's getting broken down and rebuilt. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, the streets are named after people that lived here 50 years ago and passed away, or even recently passed away within the 10, 15 years. Yeah, yeah. Like Randy Padmore, like that's the park in the neighborhood. That was off of, we named it after one of the community workers that, that worked with us. Oh, okay. But he lived in the community when he was a child. Right. He moved away and came back to work with us. Yeah, yeah. So they gave him a park, basically. They renamed the park after him. That's kind of like how we do it. Right. Certain names, like like how it's called Atkinson Co-op. Yeah. That's basically he was Atkinson. Sonny Atkinson was the owner of the neighborhood, basically. And when he passed away, they named it after him. Oh, okay. And Sonny Atkinson, he's he's, he's from Nova Scotia. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's kind of like from. Day one has kind of been like a like a Nova Scotian neighborhood. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a lot of Scotians. You're Scotian, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you are you are you full Scotian or what's no, your no, background? No, no, no. I'm half Scotian. Half Scotian. I'm half, half Scotian. Your mom's a Scotian? No, my mom's Trini. My dad's Scotian. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Because you're related to Twi, right? Yeah, yeah, it's my little cousin. Your little cousin. Yeah. And he, he he's Scotian. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love Twi. He's good. He's you awesome. Hearing his voice. Yeah, man. No, he's, yeah. So talk about Nova Scotia. Like, how, why why did people? Why is there so many Scotians there? They all like. Why, why, like, why? Like is here? Like, yeah, 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 like in that area. It seems like it's a, like, you know, it's like, like. It's just like. It's, it's kind of hard to say. It's like. People just kind of stick together. It's one of those things. Like, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, go in a group. It's like you, know? you hear, like, it's like you're hearing everybody's moving to Toronto and it's, it's a good spot and that's where all your people are. Yeah. You're and like, I bet you say your cousin's going, you're like, yo, let's go there. Exactly. Too. Yeah. Like, you tell and this you guy how it is. Guy. And you end up staying. Right. And then it just, it's like a repeated cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. For sure. And Toronto's a, Toronto, Toronto's a nice place. Besides the politics, all that bullshit. Yeah. You want to have fun, Toronto? You can have fun in Toronto. For sure, man. People, yo, you hear people, celebrities say all the time, they come to Toronto, they love the women, the food, Definitely. the entertainment, the entertainment, the clubs. Like, even when they were open. Coming, yeah, I know, it's fucking wild, man. Like, it's fucking, like, it's even fucking tonight, wild. coming down here, man, the leaf gate, fucking packed. Traffic was crazy. Yeah, it's fucking wild. Traffic's super crazy. It's full Especially capacity. Especially if you want to get this area where we are right now, you'd be lucky to find parking <laughs> if you don't come down here. Two hour, two hours before you want to see a game or a restaurant. Yeah, I know it's crazy, man. The Toronto is super crazy down here. Yeah, dude. So, you know, like, you, you have like, there's a bunch of rappers from the Park. Like, you know, like, a, like yeah, actually, that had like a name, you know? Yeah. Like, they're good. You got K, like, name some of the guys. Like, you got K Money Casper, Rolex Tommy. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, it started, it started with. RK, AP RK, Baby, AP Baby. Uh, fucking. Wanna go back? We got fucking. We got Comfy. Oh yeah, Mr. Comfortable. Comfortable. That's my little bro too. Yo, you know? he might be the best Toronto rapper of all time. Dude. To me, he's the best Toronto rapper. Bro, he might be. Yeah. Like bar for bar, bar for bar, nobody, nobody stick with him. And people don't nobody know about him, bro, because he doesn't put himself out there. Like it's like almost a fucking shame, and it's like fuck, man. Like this but guy's talented as shit. A lot of like, people would. A lot of people with that type of talent don't give a fuck about it. There's, it's you know how many fucking weird, artists, dude. It's weird. It's crazy. I'm or they don't even want to hear. They don't want to hear their self when they record a song or some shit. Like their boy loves it and they hate it. They're like, it, it's all. It's a mental health yep. thing. It's like a, a, a anxiety thing. It you is. Know? Like comfy. Like we have bangers on bangers. Like and we just let it go. Like. Yeah, if, if he releases it, he releases it. But that's the type of guy he is. You know what I mean? Like, music is like you have to put your whole life into that shit. That's, that's true. Man. It is. That's the type of thing. 
But bar for bar, I don't think anybody's fucking with it. That's why you can tell, like, you see Pressa and Smiley doing, like, fucking huge shit. You know how many songs I sat down and had, like, him and Comfy, Twy, Robin Banks, like, Hazel P, everybody sitting in the studio. He was nice, too. Just fitting the and Don't Comfortable like, and Robin and Twy have videos for these Yeah, they, don't they have their tracks together? Oh, yeah. yeah, they got a handful of tracks. Twy, Comfy, and Robin Banks. Yeah. Robin, that's I, a... I think three together are crazy cool. Though. I think Robin's a good drama. Just for what he did. <laughs> no cap. He put, and on, like, he put on for his... Uh, there's like, definitely for his area. He put on... Yeah, there's like 30 guys now that are all have like a little rap career doing different things. You know? Okay. They, they're all talented too. They're very talented. They're very talented. He, he opens a like, platform for them to yeah, show their talent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he put eyes on that area. Yeah. Like how I would say... It's because we put eyes on our area. It's, it's just the first rapper that comes out of anywhere is gonna, and if they're actually really good, they're gonna open eyes. And that's the thing, people just gotta keep it going. Yeah, that's where we got Casper, KM, RK, AP Baby, and everybody, and no, not one rapper that came out of my area failed. Yeah. Like the first track that they dropped did not, was not was ass, did not, yeah. was, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Was, I know it was a banger. Yeah, the J Money, bro. His Even first, J Money, his first song, bro. How the fuck I forget about Lil Bro? Like, was, that's was crazy. Was uh, was his first song? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, bro, that shit was huge. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, like millions of views. You know. Yeah. Even even my little bro, um, Kato. That's another one of them. I, I haven't crazy. listened to him too hard. Yeah. Songs too. Wow, that's crazy. Was Benali stocks from there? Is he from? Uh, he was at, a, at one time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he used to stay there. Yeah, he was, he was rapping too. Because Benali, like, you know, they put Benali Walker. We were all the, like, comfy, all of us, we were all the, like, first rappers to, like, put videos out from the neighborhood. Like, there was, don't get it twisted, there was niggas older than us, like, recipes, my older bro, Jay Hood and shit, that they were rapping, but they weren't doing, like, do the video and shit. They were, they were putting money into, like, making mixtapes and giving it to the man type of shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they weren't, like, I can't, but if YouTube was out for that and bumping those times, shout out to Soldier. You know what I mean? Supposedly he's the one that dropped the first music video on YouTube. So, but yeah. if that was out when we were out, we would have been, I thought it would have been for them. But it wasn't, it was a mixtape game. Yeah. Like, remember going to fucking Rockwell and buying mixtapes? Yeah. Buying fucking um, bro, and my, when I went to high zero school, DVDs and shit. That's what it was. Those eras. When I went to high school, all the rappers in my high school had bare mixtapes. That's all it was. That's all it was. Yeah, man. Like it was like print your mixtape and put it on a fucking t-shirt or a sweater and walk around school. Yeah, give it to a couple guys. What the fuck that is? You're like it was my mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, and then yeah. YouTube started popping, and that's yeah. when you're getting a hundred views, a hundred thousand views, fifty thousand views. That was like getting a million, half a million. Cause like those guys that first dropped the music, they kind of opened the platform to get to that allowed to come outside to have so much success. You know what I mean? Cause they're all bumping the same brand, and then it's like boom, boom, boom. One of them hits. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like it, that's it, it's kind of like and a. Then, all, and then when you when you're actually a good artist and can make a catchy song like come yeah. outside. Yeah. And it's gonna stick in your head. Yeah. You take off. I saw the little fucking three year old kids playing that song. It's, you got guys that are doing that, it's drills doing head. that track, and then you got three year old kids playing it. You know what I mean? Like it's fucking insane. Like it's that insane. track was so viral, man. I remember when it came out. Look at the views on that shit. That's uh, crazy. How, do you know your views that now? What is it? I like fucking. I know it has to be over. What is it? Like Twelve that? mil or something? Stop, maybe even like fourteen. It might be. Yeah. Yeah. Shout a lot, man. Fuck. For that year, it was like what, what tracks were that and Griselda. There's all the, that, and there's, uh, there's another one, Late Nights. That Late Nights, big. that was big too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was big. Because I think that one's at like 10 mil or something around there. See, and that's crazy. Yeah. You know, that Toronto artists are doing 10 mil, 14 mil, and nobody's getting, nobody's getting signed. Nobody plays. Okay, I have like a theory on? about that. Like, are we like, blackballed out here? Either we're, bla- there's, a, I have like three theories. Either we're blackballed, or the labels know, like, like if you look at Tri Rack, there's a ton of guys that do numbers too, and they don't get signed because the labels know these guys can be liabilities, bro. Why would you put millions of dollars into a guy 
that is gonna go out and fucking get locked up for seven years. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 tough. Like when it's but they do it though. You gotta know. You gotta look at this is the thing though. They buy Kodak, but there's like a difference. They know Kodak, a serious artist, and they can get him out of the streets and and he can That's have true. a persona. These guys, it's hard to do that. You know what I mean? Like it's like. I don't know. It's like a tough. It's like a tough thing. One goes six nine though. But six nine's not like ah fuck. He's that like, guy's not a fucking. What artist. about? He's yeah. not even in the conversation. That motherfucker buy you could that, Kodak gets buy a truck and every, fucking wrap it. Kodak gets locked up every three weeks. Yeah. Kodak needs to make better choices, but you know. But still. You know it's just, you know I, okay, so here's my other theory. Here's my theory. Either that, or a lot of these views and shit are inflated by fake numbers, and it's not what we've seen. It may look like ten million, but it's only four, or it's it might look top. like thirteen mil, or it's only three. Something to talk about, Mac. So, about. yeah. So who knows, man? Like a lot of it, 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 that's been a thing for the last four or five years. Ever since social media blew up, ever since the the power of technology sure. got back in Soldier Boy days, bro, he couldn't fake millions of views on a YouTube page nobody know how to do the all. programming for Not that nowadays yeah. they know how to do that bro little kids in their basement can fluctuate I tell you, I, you could drop a video right now and the man outside fucks with you he could buy you views and you don't even fucking know it yeah and it slaps it on your video and you think you got a thousand views in 15 minutes and nobody's Shh. listening it's crazy it's crazy I don't know it's, a, it's just a theory. I'm not trying to like this, but like... But those I'm, are the things I, where after a month or two, it's happened to yeah, certain people. Absolutely. Views disappear. Views disappear. And yo, I'm a guy, like I shoot music videos, bro. I watch the views. I put exactly. out a video, bro, with an artist and I'm like, oh shit, the video is doing really well. I watch it go up. I can see the analytics. When a video touches 80K, you could tell. and then a week later it's down to 75. That's how it's genuine. I'm like, um, okay, fucking red flag, bro. That's how I look at certain <laughs> things is you could tell... Is the lights going up? Or this nigga has a million views. All three of these videos comments. right here are fucking organic. Of course. You can tell by looking two years. This, I, yo, bro, I would walk down the streets and hear this song fucking play out of fucking no songs or cars and shit. No no cap. Seriously, I'm not no even cap. fucking kidding. Like, like John, John Wick, bro, is like a hood classic. Like little kids all over the fucking place look up to that guy. You know what I mean? Like. That was so, a big track. But still, a, these are still big tracks that got played till to this day. But there's a difference between looking at 700k and looking at fucking seven right. mil. You know what You're I mean? Right. Like, like uh, there's guys, bro. Like, there's guys in the states that do 700, like a, a thousand band funny. Do you know who that is or Uno the activist? Yeah. They're kind of like SoundCloud rappers, but they still do like 600k, 700k, and the whole world will know about them. You know what I mean? It's true. It's not. But the, if Toronto rappers are doing that times five, why doesn't the whole world know about them? That's what I'm it's, saying. It's strange to me as a guy that like looks but it's, it might also just be canada because but then you can like, tell you can also tell which ones are organic and what's not by like let me the, by being on even being on something like instagram yeah and seeing how much people are reposting or how much people are fucking with this song or even listening to it in their story or whatnot yeah and, you know, certain shit adds up absolutely you could tell like a nigga will get fucking ten thousand views in two hours three hours but there's three or four comments on the video. Yeah, it's strange. Five dislikes and ten likes. I know. Nah, yeah. You're not telling me ten thousand people That's just watched the video and didn't and only three commented. Yeah. Statistics don't add up. That's like a guy like <clears throat> uh, I was interviewing Hoodlum, right? And he was like, he doesn't do none of that shit and you can see it because he doesn't have the fluctuated numbers. Like he has and people still talk about him. Like it's very organic. He'll be on every blog. And people will be bumping him and shit, you know what I mean? And like the numbers aren't like fucking 300K in a week, right? Like, so it's like, okay, like you can actually see who's kind of doing the real organic shit in Toronto. Yeah, like, it's, Cause there's certain people, like, you know what I mean? There's people that put out music that, like, I'll say, like, you see, you see, like D Block, for example, Jada Kissing them. They yeah, put yeah, out yeah. music and put it, and it's like they put it out and don't give a fuck. Yeah, no promotion, nothing like Like, it's just for the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. It's certain, like, I mean, there's, there's rappers like that in Future does that shit all certain the time. Like, yeah, like, Comfy, all types of these Toronto rappers like that, they'll put out the music and they don't care. Yeah. It's for the streets. The views is, oh, you t- oh I have 50,000 views. Oh, thank you for telling me. I wasn't <laughs> checking. Yeah, like, I don't fucking know. 
that's it. Like for sure, they got all I understand shit. that, but that like we get back to what we said: the people that fucking have the most talent don't give a fuck. Yeah, I know it's crazy. They don't. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking, it's wild, man. Like, a lot of these guys, it, like, I just noticed it. It's like a lot, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of other issues with the sure. guys. Like, they have, like, sure. you know, and it's just not. An anxiety city. <laughs> yeah, it is, bro. It's fucking crazy. But, um, yeah, so, the, the, what you, like, obviously, Casper's out now. I've been doing some shit with him recently. Yes, yes. Doing little videos, going to yes, the studio yes, and shit. It's hot, so. Bro, that what? That freestyle was crazy. You saw that? Yeah. Yo, he never does that shit. It's I like, know. Just do a quick freestyle, bro. He's oh, sick. He's talented. Oh, been talented. Him and his bro been talented. Him, I've been telling him from day one. Him, his bro, and RK. Crazy. Yeah, they're sick. It's crazy. I wish if they didn't have the police chase thing, they would be right now signed and Definitely. doing what Presa and Smiley are doing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But they would have been doing it before. Yeah. Like last year. Or because year before. besides how I look at it is like when you can when you're able to do shows in Toronto. Yeah, it's and sell You're on the way. You're on your way. Have you seen Casper's videos of the amount of shows? Bro, it's like a it's like fucking Travis Fallwalk. It's not there. even an adult show. Like motherfuckers about to die in there. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> Niggas were smart with it. They're like, yo bro, we'll do it all ages. Yeah. And whoever wants to come can come. Right. We're, that's where me, what me, Twilight, we're doing a show every fucking week. We fucked up and said only 19 plus. Yeah. Get the we should have said fuck the alcohol and did 18. Absolutely. It's one more ticket. 18 or all ages. Because, yo, if you do more. that, then f- in the future, you will be able to get the 19. Because it's like the more, it's all exactly. the people listening, right? Because we don't, nobody does that no more in Toronto. You're not getting, a, you're not getting shows anymore. Yeah. It's hard. It's super hard. I think, oh, last year, man, I went, or er, this is 2019, December 2019, so I opened up for Polo G. Yeah. Like, we're all there, kicking in shit. I remember that one. Bro, were you there? Nah, I couldn't even really make it to that one. You weren't there, okay. Nah. Yeah, because he had a couple, he had, like, his pops was there and shit, and, but, um, yeah, he, him, I think, who else opened? Goods opened? You know Goods from Chicago? Goods, Goods. Goods. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he is a prime example of what we were just talking about. Talented as fuck, doesn't put anything else. Put, like putting thing out, yeah, what and, and oh, what happened? Where is he? He's just chilling on music. Like, you know, I still talk to him. He's pretty good, still. So. He's really good, bro. Like he's he's got fucking bangers, but he's just one of those guys. Like it's like you gotta like push him to put something out. Like I, so I try to t- I try to push these artists, bro. I'm like fucking put something out, put some thought into it. Have have a strategy plan. Like write out on the calendar. You know, this is the day I'm gonna drop my cover, yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna drop. A preview on my Instagram page. I'm gonna get the comments to build, get the like whatever. Then I'll drop the single on my mix. Like there's a process to it. Everything it's, it's a science. Everything you know? is a process. You can't just rush art. Bro. Yeah. You can't rush. You're art. wasting the art if you rush it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can't just because people want to hear your shit. You can't just put it out. You have to have people on your team that you send the shit to. And that are genuinely telling you if it's good or it's not. Yeah. I'm, I, I tell people straight up. Comfy, Twy, you know what I mean? Anybody that sends me music. I'm yeah. going to let you know what it is. I have to jump. If you got to go back and fix it, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, yeah. No, I tell guys all the time. Like, I'm not feeling this song, you know? You know what I mean? Like people you. I know I film that film, you know what I mean? Just like you that do videos for the man that, and they'll be like, you know, if I'm not feeling the song, fuck what you're talking about. If I'm not, if I don't like the song, I'm not doing the video. And I, it's understandable. The most influential rapper that came out this year. Yeah. He didn't even come out this Is that year. The young OG. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, young yeah. OG. He didn't even come out this year. He just started blowing up this year. Where's he from? From Detroit. Oh, he's from Detroit. Yeah. I think the, I think Flint. Yeah. Flint, right? Yeah. He's from Flint. Him and fucking. Yeah. RMC Mike, like yeah, they've been out. They, they, they blew off of fuck. That's what they blew off of though. Like Louis Ray and um, YM, y, y and J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off that one song, um, Coochie Skill. Yeah, Coo- cause Coochie that whole. Cause they've been thing. out from time before those guys, but they blew up. I think off of that song. Yeah. Y and J is so like he's such a different flavor of rap. I think I can't even remember where I seen that video. 
like TikTok is something. Yeah, you go into there. I posted Probably. it from like months before, like people were, it started blowing, like blowing. And I see the blow, I was like, don't kill me. Because <laughs> I remember it was a part where he's creeped by the, by the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it was a meme <laughs> at first. It was a meme, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that's where I saw it. It was a meme at first. I posted it and then it came out a couple months later, I was like, damn. So I was actually a banger because I didn't even renew the whole song. Yeah, he, uh, he posts a lot of memes. I was like this little white kid that he always posts. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, like remakes of his tracks and shit. He's always like humping the air and like doing all this funny shit. Y and J, he was hard for a minute. He fell off. <laughs> you listen to Babyface, right? Yeah. He's I sick. used to listen to him like six years ago. Really? Yeah. No cap. Whoa. No cap. Before everybody. That's no cap. This guy probably had like 20 monthly fucking stuff. Su- su- him. Listeners. Fucking. Um, who else was there back up there? It was on. Um, he passed away too. Al Wu, I used to listen to Detroit nigga, the young boy. He used to make beats and shit. Cash Kid, all those guys years ago. They were the ones that were, that were blowing. Yeah. You never heard of Cash Kid? No, not really. That's crazy. I wasn't really on that one. Cash Kid, he was like, yeah. I've always been on Detroit. Yeah. I've always been on that shit. I was. I had family out there. So oh, I was there as a kid. Oh, okay. So you had felt the connection. Basically. True. I was like right off of Six Mile. Oh, okay, sir. My family lived. Yeah. So we're just driving. We used to just drive to go to certain places. You got to go to seven mile, eight mile. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I got to see it all. Yo, how many bodies do you think are in the Detroit River? I'll tell you a funny story. Oh, no. <laughs> tell you a funny story. If I'm lying, I'm dying. You follow my, you know my little bro. Which one? Uh, Sasha Drippin'. Yeah. Yeah. We're kids. Okay. Okay. And our aunt owned a house, and but she owned three houses. One bes- in between both of them was demolished. So we used to play on the rubble. And one day, because I swear to God, God tricked me dead. We found a rib cage like this big. Shut the fuck up. We thought it was like never kids. We thought it was dog, like a dog. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. To this day, we don't know what the fuck. It you was. guys picked it up and you're like, yo, that looks a lot like my rib cage. <laughs> to this day, we don't know what the fuck it was. Dude. When I go when I go home, I'm gonna ask him if he if he still remembers that shit, cause I never forgot that. That's so fun. Cause it, it was weird, like the like I would ask him like, Yo, can you take me to the ball court in my hand? Like, cause it was like two streets across. I remember one day we're driving like halfway there, and then you just hear you just hear gunshots. Like, nope. Turn back, drive back. Yeah. Like not. Nah. Like, that's how it was. They have a, a fucking like America's Most Wanted type of shit. Yeah, but that was comes on every night. Dude, that was probably just some lady calling your kids home, you know? You like, never know. Just like, pop, 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 come in, crying. Is ready. Your dog's crying all night and shit. Detroit My dude's telling different. me, like, yeah, that's that's the cry when 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 they know their owner's dead and shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's fucked up. She's she just fucking with my head. Yeah, man. yeah. But you never know. Yo, you ever seen that video of Snap Dog when he comes pulling up with the music video and he jumps out of the car and he's like, chun, 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 shooting, and then like the cop pulled up and like arrested everybody. And, like, some, yo, he was another one. I used to fuck with him, too. But the one I used to fuck with heavy, heavy fuck was um Dex Osama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was like one of the originators like of the Detroit. That was my nigga. That was my nigga guy rest his soul. Yeah, for sure. Yo, were you yeah, speaking on the don't work. work. Yeah, no shit. Did you like speaker knockers? Yeah. Yeah, you fucked with him? Yeah, he was a legend too. Died too young. Way too young. Way too young. Died of a heart attack. What do you think it was it? Just a heart attack? I don't know. I'm a big conspiracy guy, man. I think it was the drugs, though. I think it was definitely. Drugs, but, like, who knows? It might have been just, like, the media putting it out, like, you know, like, I don't, I, I don't know. But man. then again, you never know. He could have been, he could have been sick, though. Like, yeah. you know? Yeah, or had, like, a lot heart of condition exactly. or something, you know, for sure. Maybe or a little boozy. He almost died. How many years ago? Like, yeah, yeah, I remember. He had, like, he had something, and then it turned to, like, cancer or something weird or something. Yeah, I and remember then he beat that. it all. Then he beat it. That happened to Wayne too, remember? Remember when that happened to Wayne? He, he was like in like a coma, people thought he was gonna die and shit. And then. That's crazy. But, and then they're trying to say that was from the lean or something. Who fucking knows? That little Wayne was bad for drugs. And Santana right? lost his teeth from the lean. Who, remember? Uh, Jules? They're, yeah, they're saying he lost all his teeth from the lean. That's why he has veneers? The big chompy veneers? Because he brought it out and shit. What the fuck? Really? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. There's so much sugar in lean, bro. And then he was trying to blame it on um, having grills and shit. Oh, and soft well, and teeth. not taking care of your teeth, like no, that shit will soften up your teeth. Oh yeah, if you wear girls all the time, definitely soften up your teeth. Oh, true. That's why they give you the option to get it permanent. 
Oh, okay. And that's where they shave down the teeth and actually put them in like veneers, right? Yeah, they shave it down to like nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they do with when you get yeah. fucking porcelain veneer or whatever the fuck, right? I always like, wondered how the fuck these motherfuckers, what the fuck they clean it with? What yeah, kind right. of solution do you have to put in your mouth? Yeah, what the fuck? To fun? clean the gold with if it's permanent. Yeah. What type of like weird fucking, because I mean, they use that on when they clean, when you go to get your chain cleaned, right? They yeah. put in some weird put solution. put in a solution. Yeah, and then they fucking, you see all the dirt come off and shit. They yeah. come off, they clean I, was, it. I, was, I always wondered that, I'm like, what the fuck? But it's in your mouth all the time. All the time. <laughs> Food statue, like the di- diamond ones. Okay, I'm just like they can probably just brush it. Yeah, yeah. But gold what has to fuck? be cleaned with something. I know for sure. Yeah, or else it just get dirty, especially if it's in your mouth all the time. Yeah, I was never into. Yo, Kodak Black was stink bad, bro. Like, it's just stink. <laughs> but that's why a lot of those, a lot of those guys when they, like even Lil Wayne, when he has to go do time, he got to the moon and got from here. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot of guys getting, like, drunk up, you got his shit. You, grow, you have to grow out of that shit. Yeah. Make too much money. Unless you're Paul Wall. You wear that shit to the death. But Paul Wall, he's a legend, though. That's the Houston swipe, like, Yeah, you can't talk about grills yeah. out there if, if you're not talking about Paul Wall. <laughs> Real shit. He makes the best grills. Yeah, no, for sure. Whatever you picture him, he's just like, I'm just going to If, I, if I was famous and I wanted grills, I'm definitely going. I'm going to go check him. So, yo, you fucking... They're kind of like a, 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 like, did you rap before? Uh, not, not like this. Yeah, just, yeah. You know just, what I mean? just, 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 how do you say like, just for the streets. True. Just for the man, that, like, that's what, our era wasn't, we didn't have this. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, yeah. So when this came out, I was more, I was more into helping the niggas, I was helping to push niggas to get the, you know, get the shit out there. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, I was in, I was rapping on those mixtapes and all that shit. Yeah, because I was gonna say you're kind of like behind the like scenes. That. You push, you help yeah. the, uh, the young guys. You know, definitely, you, definitely. You give them guidance and shit. If I if I have the connection that you need or something like anything I have that you could use, that's what I'm there for. Yeah, because I'm not a rapper. But people know that's you as like they know you as like a behind the scenes kind of yeah, like, basically. Yeah. Um. So. If you, like you, so when yo when Casper and K Money were having like a big boot, like they were having their big surge in 2018, and they, everything they were dropping was like millions. Of, oh shit! Millions of views, right? So what happens? Should have inside. That's when, that's when I knew, something was up with Toronto. Cause there's no way, two brothers from one area is doing that much views, but we're not getting seen. Yeah, that's true. But niggas that are doing less views is getting seen. You know, getting on or less followers. Yeah, right. I, I think with them, it was the whole. Do you do you take the risk? You know what I mean? Because look what happened. Imagine the label signed them and then the fucking police shit happened. You know what I mean? The little be like fuck. You know what I mean? But now, now but, that's happened no, but, and it's in the past. But, you can't say, but that's where that's where that's where <laughs> niggas is wrong, because if they got signed, they wouldn't there wouldn't be position. no police. Shit. Yeah, they wouldn't be in that position. I right? guarantee you. Niggas are like people. Niggas aren't stupid. People think because niggas are young, and they get or you get caught up in a certain situation, or it's like you know what I mean. That doesn't make you dumb and stupid. You just had a moment. Yeah, we've all had those moments. For sure, you slipped up. And we're all and luckily it all happened when we were young, because look at look at now, like today's time. Fuck before um, they that car chase and shit. Look at today's time people are getting people are getting fucking fucked over at 18 and 19 and 20 and they're gone for good I mean, yeah. they're gone for like a good six seven eight years Maybe 10 years and now you're what you're, you're 20 now you're 20 you're 20 I'm, my bad you're 28 mm-hmm. 29 yeah you're there's no marketing there for you if you still want to rap because you didn't blow before you got arrested yeah so where's you're not a, you're not gonna be a Bobby Shmurda or you know what I mean? Well you're not big enough to be a Bobby Shmurda or like a Kodak where your buzz goes up when you go to jail. Exactly. Unless you're Casper, because that's happening right now for him, bro. No, but that's where you look at where you have a genuine fan base because you make real music. Yeah. Well and the, so you're not gonna lose a genuine fan base. Yeah. Like I said, Bobby Shmurda. Right. His fan base, he had a genuine fan oh, base. Bro, but yeah. now but they're waiting to see what he dropped. But the shit he's dropping is ass. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna front. 
Why does Bobby Schmidt have grabbed the mic and jumped up on my Soldier Boy shit? That nigga was trash. <laughs> Yo, Bobby Kanye, you, know, you know that shit was trash, Kanye. Broski, something happened to Bobby Schmidt in jail. He's different. The nigga. Um, the nigga, he's twerking. Why is he twerking? It's crazy. I know I, I wasn't the only nigga looking at that video funny. Bro, can't. Is it? I know. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says it wasn't CGI or nothing. That nigga, he was humping the stage. You see oh, him? I see he moved that across one. the whole stage humping it. Shan, there was another video. And of then Rowdy, I got deleted. Yeah, I know. There was another video of Roddy Rebel telling him you could see him. He's starting to get like that. And Roddy's like, chill. Yo, chill. Like, fam, stop like, before relax. you start twerking, fam. Like, and they're like, oh, you was trying to tell him that because he had a chain on? It's like, nah, because he was about to fucking show his ass, bro. Like, <laughs> you know? It's fucking. I was interviewing Hoodlum. And he was saying the same shit. Could that be any street nigga that looks at that video is gonna look at it funny, bro. Yeah, it's a little weird, it's a little bro. Suspect. <laughs> it's a little suspect. Yeah, no. But then now you look at it and you're like, yeah, but this nigga's been doing it. He's been doing that shit from time though, mildly. Like the dancing and yeah, all that. Yeah, Well, in the fucking hot, the hot, the one you did, the big video, he was fucking throwing the hat and doing, you know what I mean? So I don't now know. he's just he's off. He's off the lead rack at that one. Yeah, it's a little strange to me. Yeah, what I do you fuck with Rowdy though? I, I fuck with them. You see Pim and Preston's new I was just gonna say that that video is hard. Super that sick. Video is hard. I it's super like, sick. I kinda like What do you think about uh, what do you think about Press's new like the headlines about him with the American culture thing? You know how the media is, you know? They don't Americans fucking hate any time Canadians are up. They didn't even want to acknowledge us with the ring. You know I mean, they're gonna hate regardless. I mean, he's let him do his thing. He's out there blowing up. He's making songs with certain people that fucking if you were, if you were sitting here in Toronto, you couldn't make. No, for sure. You got him. You got. That's the thing you're supposed to do. You're supposed to leave and make connections. I don't. Want, you know what I mean? Any artist shouldn't want to just be here. You want yeah. to be able to go around the world. Yeah, for sure. And unfortunately, America is the place to be for music. I don't it, see the problem. This is the thing. As a Canadian, like, people take pride in their, like, where their parents come from because, you know, like, a lot of people... I would. Yeah, and, like, that's what... So they think... If parents are American or was American citizen, what the fuck? They don't really know. I feel like the Americans just don't really know exactly where their, like, grandparents like, are... Or, you know what I mean? Like, whereas a Canadian be like, oh, like, they know the history of everything. You perfect, know? Like, I don't perfect know example. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just talking shit. You know, like, I got... Who, uh, I'm trying to think of somebody I could give an example that came from the States and got to see, like, the area. Of Toronto? Like, yeah, and be like, you know, like, people people think differently. Out, you can tell people think differently out in the States. Do you imagine? Like, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of somebody that I like I would personally be with. Hmm. Actually, fuck, I, I should I didn't get the show, but next time he comes, I definitely will. My one of my niggas, he's super famous on YouTube too. He does um pranks. You see like the gold digger pranks? Yeah, yeah. Um, Nate's life. Oh, I've heard of him before. That's my guy, fam. Me and Twy, every time he comes to Toronto, he comes and checks us. And he has millions of subscribers, right? Yeah, he has like at least 1.2 and up. Who, who is he? Is he a, uh, a Twitch like, streamer? Like, what does he do? Nah, he, he's a YouTuber. But he, they do like, vlogs and shit? He does, like, he, does, he does pranks. Oh, he does pranks, okay. But strictly on like his girl or... Or like his mom or some shit. Or like, um, no, any the like gold digger type shit. Like, oh, pull, I see. He'll okay. pull up with his car and and first he'll he'll, he'll holler at the he'll holler at the girl and just like let me see what see, see what she's on. Every time they're like, nah, nah, I have a man. <laughs> they be like, alright, have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Then they hear the beep beep. They turn around. And they see the car. Oh, I've seen those videos. That's him. And then they come back, and he's like, nah, and two then he seconds them ago. Out at the end. Yeah, two seconds ago you said nah, and now you're fucking. I've seen those. Okay, yo, isn't that how RK blew up Twice video? Nate, because I was looking at the uh, the comments and it was like Nate's yeah. life, Nate's life, Nate's life, Nate's life. He would play our songs in his video. Uh, and people thought it was just like random, like no, he act, like we actually know him. I thought it was random. 
thought it was totally random. Nah, we actually, like, when he comes here, like, he comes and he checks us and shit. We know him. See, that's how music, like, you could use other shit. Like, yo, so. You know how many times, like, my dot, like, my next, I met his best friend also makes music. My nigga Sheen. He, out from out, um, New York. Okay. And when he comes down, he also, he'll call me and I'll go check him. And when I go to check him, most times he's with fucking DDG. Because they're best friends. The, the YouTube guy. So, you know, you see how the connection keeps going. Like, that's how, that's how the industry is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so always goes, like, it, it, no one's it, a and exactly. guy and then you blow up from the label. It's like, yo, no, this like, fucking... My nigga knows him and then he brings... He's a streamer. He, he will play your track on this. He'll bring in this many views. Like, it's so fucking trippy like that. Like It's so trippy. Yeah, it's weird, bro. When I met DDG, when I, like, when I first started seeing him and shit, he wasn't a rapper yet. He wasn't blowing off these rap videos and shit yet. I heard about it because of that boxing fight. He, yeah. YouTube, he was a YouTuber. Yeah. And, like, I'm pretty sure those guys, they're into, um, they do, they, they invest in shit, too. Like, <clears throat> they're into all that shit from time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they're doing now. For sure. There must be a way that they're making residual money like that. Yeah, but I never knew, I never knew what DDG was doing. Uh, niggas were telling me that he was, something about boxing, though. Yeah, he does celebrity boxing. Yeah, shit. some shit like that. Yeah. That's all I heard about him. But he's, like, kind of, like, whack or something. Like, I don't know. I, don't, I, I fuck. I I rather I rather listen to his songs still. I think he's sick. True. He fuck. makes a couple. He made a couple bangers. I kind of like. Yeah, cause yo, that that shit's interesting, bro. I know. So I work with this kid named Gutter Boy Seuss, and he's like a, a white kid, and he kind of okay, okay. like, He has the Florida kind of like flavor to him, and uh, familiar. he uh, um, he has a song called Blitzkrieg, I believe. I might be wrong, but it has like millions of views on it. Like okay. all of his songs are like twenty k, and then he has one with millions of views. Yeah, everybody's right. like, "What the fuck?" But if you go to the comments, everybody's like, "Roblox bought me or brought me here." So, so that uh, fucking Roblox some, shit, some fucking famous ass kid played the song sick. one time, that's and like one point four million kids went to the fucking track and listened to it. And it was that's like crazy. Yeah, bro, it's like interesting how that shit can like. No you know? cap, that's how it works. Yeah, it's you never weird. know who's gonna listen to your song. Yeah, you never know. Cause remember that kept happening to Preston and shit back in the day. Like the weekend would play it on the story, or like yeah. Kylie Jenner would play like fucking LB Spiffy or some shit. And then, and then they'll blow. Yeah, they get like X that's amount crazy. of views. It's I, actually, I remember that Kylie Jenner was listening to. And that's a big platform right there. She has like. Is she like a billionaire now? I think that's a cap. I think it's a cap. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's like one of my niggas. His little bro made a song, and he's he made half of it. He learned. I think it was like Korean or something. Okay. And, he, and half of it was in like Korean or Vietnamese. And one day he just had like a million views on, um, I can't remember what, it was like Spotify or one of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, that whole community fucked with the song. Wow. Dude, you never know, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta try and break barriers. Yeah, that's fucking wild. That's why we do with the, the Scrambler gang. Mm -hmm. That's why we were like half English, half Spanish. Yeah, talk about that a little bit more because we were talking about it off camera. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's a nice music group that I, you know, I'm involved in from we started that way before I was involved with Live Gang. And that's another group that we do it's more English. And people it's here is like half English. Half English, half Spanish, Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We also have people in Colombia that's <laughs> also artists and they, they're straight Spanish. Just straight Spanish? Yeah. Huh? Shout What's, out is, my little bro Cholo. Is is Spain is Spain's main language Spanish? Spain? In Spain? Is it Spain? I would think, I would believe so, yeah. I think so, most, right? It's most, it's, yeah, it's Spanish. Okay. Everybody out there speaks Spanish. I'm kind of tapped into that scene, There's a eh? lot of different cultures going on as well, right? Right. But that's like anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is Spanish. A lot of play, a lot of countries speak Spanish around the world. Yeah. Like, fucking, uh, all I'm over from the place. Trinidad and they speak Spanish out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, cause, um, yeah, yeah, no, that's wild. But yeah, we started that, it was, it was basically, the rappers were, was um my broski Bando Jones, you know what I mean, and Scrambler James, and the producer was um Lalo. Okay. And, you know what I mean? So it was basically they were the rappers, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> we also had the rappers in Colombia, so people would connect on the songs, and that's how it started. Where they would keep going out from here to Colombia, do shows, yeah, yeah. and make the connection out there and get the music seen. 
is are they more popping in Colombia than when like is, definitely, are they like definitely, yeah, yeah like they're grooming like, there right yeah definitely because the Spanish they, the Spanish scene out there mm -hmm. they fuck with people that can can rap both ways like you know what I mean right yeah yeah, yeah. so they once they like heard English, what we were Spanish, doing both? yeah okay. once they heard what we were doing yep. they adapted quick sick so out there but here is like more yeah we see what Toronto's more like what kind of music they want to hear yeah so that's what that's we don't make that type of music we're not into the, the politics the, the, like the, the, you know what I mean the violent shit yeah. yeah 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 I mean you're not gonna hear in one song in the Scrambler song I'm actually I'm smoking on your that's just, you know what I mean bro okay so I was talking to my buddy and uh so he, he has a nine year old he has a nine year old son right and he's like in the rap game right yeah. so he's in his kitchen and he's fucking cooking and shit and he hears fucking his nine-year-old son in the other room playing xbox and he's yelling at his fucking he's yelling at the other players he's like i'm smoking on clutch he's nine years old because oh, wow. his favorite rapper <laughs> is top five bro <laughs> so he runs in there and he's like yo if you fucking say that one more time i'm gonna slap you you know because these kids have no idea what it means it. they have no idea you know but their favorite rapper is top five bro it is a, isn't that fucking happens, jokes bro when they told me that story i was like yo that's fucking hilarious like what the fuck, man? That's crazy. I know, man. Like, he's got little kids saying that shit. Like, it's not hilarious, but it's fucking yeah, funny. Man, like, I come know. on. <laughs> like, top five, too. Yeah, it's man. Yo, what, what, what do you think about that, that whole shit? Yo, bro, uh, this city is crazy. They're trying to take you. Any, they'll take you down, bro. This city will take you down. He was getting, like, they're, like academics. Once you're, you know, on, see, once you're on a level like that, and then... You, you're involved with any little thing. You're gonna be the face of that. So you're gonna get the backlash of everything. That's the only. That's the only problem of having a name. Anything happens around you, you're getting taken down. So you can't. You know what I mean? Just because the media says this, this, and that, you can't automatically say, "Yeah, fuck." Like, he did that. Yeah. But, like, you know what I mean? He deserves. Deserves to get taken away. What the fuck? You have to really know what's going on. Once you have a name and you're famous, anything around you, that's why you gotta separate yourself from certain shit. Yeah. Once, that's why I commend press and all these guys. They, they're gone. They're in the states. If they fuck up, then they fuck. Like that I mean you can tell. It's but on those guys them. have fucked up. The smileys, the presses, they were they were locked up, bro. And they learned about that shit and they above, they went above it. You know what I mean? Like you almost these guys almost need an incident like that to happen for them to learn from it. You know what I mean? Because look look at after. Like now Casper, you know, you don't think about the streets, that guy's out just making music every day. Every day he's in the studio now. Like he's so as focused, he's, you know? As an artist should be. Okay. Yeah. It's just it's Stay it's focused. crazy. If you're in the studio every like that's how I used to tell everybody I fuck with that makes music. How do you think Amigos, all these motherfuckers used to make bangers? They have a studio in their house. Yeah. They sit there and they fuck around all day. When, you, you, when you're in a studio all day, you're going to come across something. You ever seen the Noisy Atlanta videos? Yeah. The one where the me offset walks into a fucking yeah. closet like that and yeah. records? There's like a fucking Simple. shoe all you right need. You don't need a crazy ass studio they recorded like versace in like a fucking two by two closet i remember that shit you don't need a crazy ass studio yeah no yeah it, it, people think they need all bro you don't need any uh, as long as you're skilled at whatever you're doing you know that's you don't it. need all the crazy equipment or you have, shit. you have a crazy engineer yeah and sir all of that bro look at the florida way remember that shit was raw as fuck they weren't even mixing mastering their shit and people were loving they were it. just making a song and then they had that wave where um They'd put that that speed up shit on it. They they fast forward your song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody was blown up out there in Florida off that shit. Yeah, weird. That Goldie P guy, whatever his name is, he was blown yeah, up was off that name? shit. Do you remember his name? So it was like Goldie P or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I that I that, right, that rings a bell. And his songs, they just kept fast forwarding his songs. There was a couple, there was a bunch of them. There was a next guy that said Kodak stole his flow. What was his name? Um, Who was that? You're talking about fucking... Are we talking about uh, 
Kid Boo. Oh. No, 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 not no. Kid Boo. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Bad. Kid Boo, the 75 year old rapper from fucking Toronto? Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever happened to that fucking that rapper that said um, he cloned himself? That's, that's, that's the guy, that's bro. That's him. That's him. <laughs> Bro, I know Yo, people that, that know awesome. him. I know people that know him. He's like 40. He's a pedophile. So what he's was going on? He actually has a twin? No. No, bro. No. So this is he's CGI video or something? Boys. Yeah. He's not the island, island boy. <laughs> he just had an older brother or a young... Or no, he, had, CGI. he was the only child. So how is he doing these videos? Yes. Bro, place a camera... No, Island place. Boys are real, though. Those no, guys that, are two brothers. That's actually two people. I used to watch them like a year, two I, years ago on YouTube. Yeah. I seen one of them. Yeah, they used to get flamed on no, YouTube. They used to get fucking flamed. Like, like they'll try to flame. They'll go and try to um, flame somebody on YouTube, and then they'll just get flamed. <laughs> and they make and then they make that person famous. So the next guy, like okay, some guy pull, called um, pull this Green up Hat guy. guy for me on the on the thing. You ever heard that guy, the Green Hat guy or some shit? The Green they Hat guy used to go on their show and just flame them. No, normal white guy. You're talking about the Island Boys, right? Yeah, normal white guy. Just you just come on there and you always have like a green hat or something on. Check this shit out. Go to YBN Namir. Whatever happened to him? You'll see. He actually. I'm gonna show you. He could rap too, though. No. He made a one song. I used to fuck. Yeah, he made one song. What his name was? He made one song, bro. What was that song? Okay, hold on. Oh, that one. Keep going over because that's what I know. He set the record for the most dislikes on a track ever. Honest to God. Yeah, man, it's incredible. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Go to. Was it just a, go back? I think it's Soul Train. I think it's Soul Train. Was it just a trend to dislike it though? Can you check the Can you check the likes I and dislikes? Think, I think so. It can't be. It must have been just a trend to dislike that video. Somebody said, "Yo, everybody dislike this video." Somebody famous. Maybe, nah, nah, nah. Maybe not. Dude, the song is so bad. You can't. Yo, you have to pop. You have to mute it though. If I gave you one. Yeah, I can't. I can't see. Okay. Oh, you can't see the likes and dislikes. Nah, uh, oh fuck! I on my phone. Pull your phone. Oh wait, I have it. Here, let me go to. Let me see it. Don't bro, okay, like let, me, let me just show you this. Like, bro, this shit is incredible. You'd be like, wow. You'd be impressed by it. How many so you dis- stop rapping how after many this? Dislikes are we talking? It can't be more than I'm, like... Bro, it can't be more than like, what's that white motherfucker? There's so Matt many Moore? dislikes. There's so many dislikes Matt that Moore, it's his Matt most... Matt wasn't even a shit-ass rapper, though. Matt Moore has that vibe fucking dislike. That shit ass. Where's Russ? Oh, where's the dislikes? Look, likes, 56k... Dislikes, oh, dislikes. 409,000. What the fuck? You disliked it too. I disliked it. You guys are assholes. Because <laughs> I was like, fuck. Did you ever listen to the song fully? All right, get this shit off the screen now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> get it off the fucking screen. So you must have stopped yeah. rapping after this. <laughs> he had to. Have. Yeah, no, he, uh, he actually so did. He must have bought that song that he came out with then. I mean, that's, that's organic. That though. was a banger though. That's organic. That's organic. Like, Nobody ain't, can hate on that. He ain't buying dislikes. Can you buy dislikes? Probably. <laughs> That's the new way, bro. Just buy up. Just buy dislikes. You buy might get dislikes. And, whoa, bro. <laughs> Is that him now? That's him right now. Oh, we're interviewing outside on the bench. You remember that? I do remember that. I know. We never even dropped play. it. It's just, it's timing and everything, though. Because you had a podcast going. You did a couple episodes. You guys were ready. Um, what happened to it? Like I said, timing's everything. Yeah. I feel we just rushed into it. It was a rush. Mm. We thought we could do something like that. Yeah. But that's definitely not that's not how it goes. Yeah, man. You'd like even this interview today, I did fucking hours of research. Just that's how it goes. Like, looking you know, at your hood, fucking people from it, your Instagram, just weird shit, you know what I mean? Like, right? Mm. Uh, that's how that's how you know you know what you're doing though. A lot of people are just like, oh, an interview is just me sitting there and no, it's not that whatever good. comes to my head, I'm going to ask him and then it's spit bomb. I'm telling you, bro, when the lights are on and the camera's are on, it's not that easy. It's not. Definitely. People are like, oh, I'm fucking sitting there looking at, you know? That's what I said. Like, even I told a lot of, even I told twice on day one, fucking, oh, we have a show, we have a show next week, we have a show two weeks from now, three days from now, you're going to perform the show before we go there. Yeah. We're gonna practice. Yeah, that's what a rehearsal's for. Right? You're gonna sit, you're gonna, you know what I mean? You're gonna practice in a mirror too. Yeah. You need to see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. People think that's stupid, it's not. Bro. bro. The most famous people 
become. Dude, they do that shit, bro. You know, like Usher, all those motherfuckers are the best performers in the world because they're paying people to come train them to perform. Yeah, dude. Like if the you learn that yourself, yeah. If you don't learn that yourself, yeah, man. You're good to go. You know, how big stage presence is, bro. Like just for big. artists and shit. Like he twice got some stage presence. I've seen him perform and shit. Now, cause he's not, cause he's nowhere close to being shy now. Yeah, he's a shy. He's, he's a shy. No, he's but gun, yeah. when you put him on a stage, or when it's time to rap, he's not shy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's out there and he'll jump off the stage. That, like, never go talk to people. That's that's how he's supposed to be. Yeah. You don't want to just be in, on one side of the stage performing. You got to work the stage. For sure. But that comes with experience, too. Definitely. Nobody's going to be good like no, no, fucking right, right away, you know? Like, yeah. But can you move your chair up just a little bit? We don't bit. have... We don't have the opportunity here to even for artists to, to learn that because there's no bookings. Yeah. There's none of that type of shit. I know. It's like the police thing. It's also, it's just the way Toronto is. It is. set up. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Chicago. It's kind of like, it's a lot like Chicago, bro. It's a lot like Chicago. It's, it's weird. Like, the police don't want it to happen. Like, I've personally been gearing up for shows where artists are promoting it for a month and then the night before. It's shut down. Get shut down. Because... And yo, it's not as, it's, it's also just like, like it's as easy as just like the cops finding out or somebody just calling Simple. and saying, hey, my son has tickets to the show and it's burn the bands or whoever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like whoever's performing and then the I've cops find out about it. Before. Yeah, I've seen them on the before. Yeah, I've seen them on I heard about it, whatever, you know what I mean? Like it, it's like the cops, like bro, there's cops that literally sit there all day long and just watch rap videos. Oh, for sure. And just write down names and fucking, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's fucked. Like, crazy like that. I've had my lawyer before in the past, she, she asked me, she's like, have you ever been in um, any rap videos this year? She pulls up a light and she's like, look at this scene. I told her, ah, she's just like, <laughs> she's like, no, you're lying. Yeah. So I can name like three different artists that you're in. And she's like, I don't even know. Casper, K Money. But that's where, I say, anybody that's good at, that's good at their job is gonna sit and do homework, right? Yeah, for sure. She's good at her job. She's good. She sat there and did homework just in case they they knew. She needs to know before they know. Yeah. Yo, I, that happened to me, bro. You could ask him. They, I was in a little case type of thing, and they brought up papers of me interviewing people. They be and doing that shit. They, yeah, they, 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 they fucking know, videos. bro. It's just like holy That's shit. How they work. Fucking retarded. Next thing you know, the that. video we shot is in a fucking federal indictment or some shit. Like it's crazy. Yeah. God forbid something happens to one of us and we all like we have to do something stupid to even defend our life. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I know it's fucked up. Like but that's all. But they are all three of them were in this video together last year. That's they know each other for three years. That's that's really. the biggest thing. A lot of the guys the have conditions, right? Going. And then they can't be together. You know what I mean? So like the cops are watching that. So they're like, oh, you guys are together? Breach probation. Right away. I've had, that happened to me plenty of times. Even on, even on a job site. Because my thing wasn't with the police. It was with the job, bro. The job? It was with the job. Like I had a job and I took time off. And right, the, well, and while I was taking time off, they were report. They were watching me do like interviews with artists and fucking video shoots. You know what I mean? So they were fucking investigating me. So then when I came back to my job, because I took I'm fucking, I'm like, I'm not working for a bit. I'm yeah, chilling, sure. you know. But I wasn't chilling. I was working on my other shit. So that's I shouldn't be doing that, right? So they pulled up the paperwork and they were like, "Look uh, at this, you know. You're you're in this video." You're in that video, and this video dropped on May 2018, and you know what I mean? Like, they, they know that shit, bro. Like, you know, you know, I filmed that video two years ago. That, but you can say, you don't know when I fucking shit, I filmed yeah. that. I dropped it that day, you don't want to film. That's so I said to them, like, you guys don't know fucking shit. Like, you that know. shit could have been filmed five years ago. Look how yes. much younger I look. You know, like, eventually you'll, you'll beat it. It's just like, how long are they going to keep you on this phone? That's the thing, people break before it. Three years? Ex yeah, yeah, yeah. You just fucking let it ride, right? Like, it happens. Yeah, it's fucking wild, bro. Yo, so have you been listening to like the new music that's coming out recently? New Toronto shit? Some, somewhat. You listen to the new Benji? The new Benji? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's hard. I can't Sick, eh? Yeah. It's probably- He's always- He's always been calculated. He's it's not gonna drop- He doesn't drop music, like, I mean, constantly. He has that Playboy Cardi- Wait till it's- Like, yeah. Banger. Yeah, man. There's three, four bangers in the vault. Boom. Wow, more batteries, but, uh, oh, okay, okay, that's fine. 
We're only, we're only gonna do for like five more minutes. It's gonna be like literally two percent. That's cool. It's two percent. Yeah, the other one's gone, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Been hard. Yeah, he's really good, man. What happened to him in night? You still fuck with night? I'm not sure. Or just is it because night went to jail or something? I don't know. I don't know. You think, is he still out there? You okay? Uh, Benji right now? Yeah. I think he's in Dubai. No, Benji. Benji was in the UK fucking with Knight. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Benji. Yeah, that sounds familiar, yeah. What was it? Yeah, Benji had was no, in the UK dudes. Bro, that Fire in the Booth is like the number three most viewed Fire in the Booth ever. And like, there's like big artists that go on that shit. Before my, my last phone broke, I don't know, because I don't bring it with me no more. I can't use it. I shit, I used to listen to that song every day. Yeah. The, the Fire in the, the, fire the Booth was hard. It was hard. I know, it's so sick. I love my playlist for sure. It's on every, everybody's playlist. What other, yo, why hasn't, because when I look back at all the good projects that came out from Toronto, a lot of them come from the Driftwood guys. Yeah. Like they drop they full projects and they're good, you know? Like YG's always dropping mixtapes, Burnett's dropping mixtapes, Robin's dropping mixtapes, Pressa, you know? Like why isn't Casper and King Money dropping? Like, I mean, Casper drops a little EPs and stuff, you know? But like, it's not, like, you never see like a full tape from these guys. It's only two of them. That is true. Like, I mean, those are like, Everybody can name well, I mean, they got RK and guys. fucking and all the other guys. Everybody, like, all those guys, those are the guys. But there's a lot of them. They outnumber, like, you know what I mean? When it comes to music, they outnumber us. Yeah, they have a lot of rappers. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's, 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 that's home team, too. Those guys are the guys. Yeah, I know, they're yeah. super dope. I know you guys are cool, right? So I don't, I, I don't want to, like, spark a debate. If we had enough it. art, if we had enough artists, we would, we would probably be more seen, too. Those yeah. guys. And like I said, they don't fail. Yeah. And they're consistent. That's, the that's what I mean. Consistently and not failing is what puts you on the map. Yeah. And they did that thing that we were talking about. They were building a platform. One guy drops something, then one guy can take time off, another guy's putting shit out. How, and it's building a platform. That's how, that's how it should be if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're not gonna be consistent like if one artist is not gonna be consistent. Have a bunch of guys. Like so then the channel's consistent. You're at least building your brand, right? Like Or hmm. at least there's there's enough um, artists that are inspiring the next, you know, I mean, young youth. So when they come up now, they're now that's what they're doing. Yeah, 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 for sure, dude. Fuck, interesting. Um, we're gonna wrap it up here too. But um, what do you think about the Trap Scott thing that came up? But what uh, but before I came here, I was at home. I was watching that shit. Like I've been for like three, four days since it came out. Like, how long has it been like before? I think it's been a week now. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think it was last weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, like, no, but it was like four or five days. Yeah, like it was like the next. Yeah, yeah. it's been around that. But I've been I'm like, you know, it's crazy. That shit is crazy. I've been watching like, um, the people that were there type of their reactions, their reaction videos or whatnot, and I don't know. It was just there's something different about it. Eh? I never. It made me like that. That moment, I was like, yo, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm never going to a concert. I don't want, I bet me, I don't like to be somewhere where I know I can't leave when I want to. Yeah, yeah, What if I take a, take a piss, bro? I, I that, was just thinking about that. I see a video and there was a, there's a girl, like, you could tell she was, she's probably like five, three, five, four. And she's, like, she's crying. Like, she's telling people, like, they're, like, they're crushing her head. Yeah. And I was just thinking, I'm just there, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm not a big nigga. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not getting out of here. Yeah. Like, I'm done for it. You could tell me, like, she's like, yo, I'm gonna die here. Like, you could see in her voice, like, it went from panicking to like to actual. Calm. Like, like, she starts being calm, like, I know I'm gonna die here. Yeah. And I'm just like, yo, this, that shit is fucked. Like, Bro, there's, there was people, like, people were saying that if you jumped in the air, you didn't touch the ground. You were stuck in the air. Like, if you jumped, it would be you stuck. Yeah, your bodies would stick you in the air. You'd just be a sardine. Like, you know, like, be, uh, yo, bro, be I don't like that because the people are people were saying that they had to keep their head up to try to breathe. Well, imagine you ended up down. Then everybody closed everybody in on you. and You can't get up, right? Like it's like a fucking crush. yeah, you're getting on the floor stick. and crushed. Bro, like okay, so um, I went to Travis Scott concert before. It was like was it crazy? Bro, everybody said it's it was crazy. the craziest fucking thing. 
Bro, it's the craziest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Yo, my brother was what? Or my. Uh, do you feel like it was? Do you feel any type of satanic shit? Okay, so we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> but yo, so at this concert, bro. So this is 2016. Like his first album just dropped, and he had that like a lot of buzz. Like Antidote was out, okay. all that shit. That was where the concert? It was here. It was at Sound Academy. I think okay, there was like okay. 1,500 people, but it was packed. Like in that area, it was fucking Sound packed. Academy, no. Yeah, I know, I can imagine 50,000 people. But yo, so at that concert, bro, I came home, I had like cuts on my face, bro. Uh, I ripped one of my friends, he had a you know, Montclair jacket. I ripped the fucking thing here. Cause yo, it was so compact and everybody was going so hard that you couldn't help but just like yeah. hurt somebody next to you. Like if I put my arm up like this, I was punching a girl in the face. He's telling you to rage. Yeah, and then like he's going crazy on stage, bro. I'm like this, I grab my boy, I'm hit, hitting this girl in the face. I'm like, oh fuck, like it was like that, bro. Like cans are getting thrown, like it was insane. No, like I don't, I can't be in that. Like I don't know. So I couldn't imagine that I'll times have... twenty five. You know what I mean? Like it ex like expanded into fifty thousand people. Like that's and there's certain and there's like three areas that was like that. that and the like, way that they constructed it, it was like, yo, have you ever looked in an aerial shot of the? It was like VIP, like that little lane or whatever it was. Yo, the and general admission, bro. And people could not get on a general admission. And people are walking yeah. around VIP freely. Yo, and the way it's set up, like, it's yo. a fucking cross. It looks, if you look, this is why the satanic thing is actually something to look at. Like, I'm fucking, I don't think that's true, but it's just interesting. It because is. people are saying they felt, like, weird there. Can I tell you something really fucking weird? Okay, so I was watching this interview with this, um, a, a guy who studies satanism or satanic okay. shit, you know, with music and all that shit, symbolism. So he's, he's, he's a pro in this, right? And he said, when it comes to satanic stuff, we have to look at numbers. That's yeah, what you have to look at. So you look at sixes and sh nines and shit and see if it matches up. So listen to this shit. This is, so fucking, this is so fucking weird. That day, at midnight, it was Chris Jenner's birthday. The concert happened on November 5th, okay? Chris Jenner would have turned 66 at midnight. The Travis Scott came on at 9 o'clock p.m., which is an upside down six. Good. And in the Jewish calendar, which is where they do like the fucking passing of whatever the religious shit, I don't know yeah. exactly, but there's like a Jewish calendar they go off of. As soon as the dark hits, it's the next day, which would mean November 6th. So when Travis is coming on at nine o'clock, the dark, it's dark now, it's now November 6th, 666. It's just weird, it's just interesting. I'm not saying it's fucking satanic, it's fucking, guys, they're, they're, it's fucking though, interesting, bro. It's like, it is. Yeah, why does it, is, is it a coincidence? Yo, then the, the people died, eight people died, or they're nine now or whatever, there was like eight things, and there was like, he even had a sign that's like, see you on the other side, when people were, the, yeah. the, the pandemic, like the, the crazy, the crazy shit it. was happening, and then that came up, see you on the other side, it's that's like, crazy. yo, and then he put out a single a week before called Escape Plan. Like, what the like, fuck, bro? I watched one today, I swear to God. Like, that, I just, it, how I many watched, coincidences? I watched one today about Kobe, and it was like, he, he died when he was 41, and his last game that he played, um, he scored 61 in his last game. Like, yeah, some shit, and it was, there was only um, 4.1 seconds on the clock. Oh, fuck off. And the last time the, the Lakers, when the Lakers won in the ring with LeBron, the date equaled up to 41 when you add it together. I'm just like, these guys are pulling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, the Kobe cool thing's a like, It sounds cool. It sounds interesting. It sounds cool, but you're pulling. But the thing is, with the Satanism thing, that's always been tied to music. Yeah, it is. It always has been. For going back like 30 years, bro. What, remember that video that came out, the monster video, Kanye West? Yeah, yeah. Rewatch that video, bro. It's like shocking. Like when you watch it. You're like, what the fuck am I Kanye's, watching right now? I've always been saying that Kanye is a different type of nigga. He, I don't know, he's not normal. He's definitely on, you know, bro, he's too powerful he knows some shit. That we don't know about. Oh, definitely. Like, he knows some shit. He probably knows that aliens you exist. Cut, you cut patches in your head and not give a fuck, you're on some shit. So, look at this. I have a Kanye West tattoo. I'm fried. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm, that's, I'm that's fried. Hard. That's hard, though. The bear? Yeah, the guy. Because graduation. Bear. Graduation was like my favorite album, right? You like put a album. jacket on there, so it's not his bear. You gotta put the jacket on. Should be a backpack one, too. That's. Yeah, but he, I kind of think he's, he's a genius, though. And all yeah. geniuses are crazy. Yeah, he's definitely crazy, bro. He's out there. Like fucking the interview um, I was watching the other day, Soldier Boy, they just did. Yeah. And they asked him, they're like, Kanye, Kanye said all geniuses are crazy, so are you crazy? And you have to think about it. Yeah, actually, yeah, I guess I'm crazy. 
But I'm, but there's levels to crazy. Yeah. I'm not that crazy, but I'm crazy. My soldier boy, you're crazy. He needs to be crazy. So, yeah, he's a genius. He's like, I'm just gonna check this camera real quick. Who the fuck makes a song? Okay, cool. Who thinks of making a song called Rick and Morty? Yo, Soldier Boy is the goat, bro. Soldier Boy, though. He's the goat, bro. Soldier Boy's the goat. Like, yo, when I was in grade fucking ten, Crank Dad came out or some shit, or I was in like grade nine or something. I can't remember when it came out. I was, or maybe grade eight. I was around there. He was either grade eight, grade nine, or grade ten. Crank Dad came out. It was so fucking big, bro. Bro, I was in like grade six when that shit came out, or like grade five. So you had to be. Look, I had. No, you were younger. I've seen niggas. I seen niggas coming back from. It was like 2006 or something. I seen niggas come back from making a walk, running, running back to to the ball court, jumping in the line to do the soldier. Yeah, he's he jumping like, in the line like this, like. He's <laughs> a pocket full of change, <laughs> flying out. That's like, hilarious. That's how big 2007. That's a fucking. 2007. That's how big the song was. 2007. When my older bro died too, Jada, God rest his soul. That's crazy. That's when. Oh, me, soldier boy's been out for. With 14 years, going on 15. Yeah, he's like Chris Brown, bro. And, he's, and people still looking at him like he's he's in high school, type, like he's a young boy. Like, he looks young. He does, but like, no. But when I, I was looking at that interview the other, I said this nigga's I old. Mean, he looks weathered down. That's from like the drugs and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's his like his, his jawline. Yeah, his jaw, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, or for sure. it's it's from him fucking keep replacing his fucking teeth, get new grills and. And veneers and shit, fucking up. like his jaw's so skinny. Yeah, yeah. Like he shouldn't look that old. No, for sure. He probably has like a couple years on us. Well, there was rumors that that guy's all fucked up on other jokes too, right? So who knows? Who knows what he's doing? But who's saying that fucking thing? Um, Bow Wow. Dax, that's like Bow Wow saying that. that okay, too. <laughs> no, Bow Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I grew. In, I grew up thinking Bow was younger than me. Yeah. That's how the mar- That's how they marketed it. I. Yo, bro. And that's I find out he's fucking. In his third or something, I said, no, this is no way. Yo, apparently T-Pain's only like 34. No, you're Yo, lying. can you check you're that, please? Lying. Can you please check that? Check T-Pain's T-Pain. page. He did. Yo, please. That's a lie. That's a Yo, lie. bro, I swear it's like 34 or 35 max. He only has four or five years on the match. He's 37. Oh, okay, 37. But okay. still, bro. Still, still, yeah. He's been around for fucking That's 20. like saying, that's like saying, give me, give me the kid's 33, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's my yeah. Can we get some guys? I love when he plays the trend. He reminds me of my pops, fam. You know those those, those old jeans that don't get old. Yeah, and like, he just stays cool. cool they don't get old. Yeah, he just stays cool That's the whole my time. Pops. Okay. Yo, he's the best, bro. His hit million dollars worth of game is like the sickest. That was a good idea. Him and his cousin. Wallow. Smart. Wallow. They're like the best combination. Everybody thought Wallow was older. Wait, Gilly's older? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a big cousin. Fun. That's why he talks that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he's been playing a lot of trauma shit recently. Yeah. He's playing Portion. You know what Portion is? Portion? Yeah. I think Portion got signed, bro. FN Portion. FN Portion. Uh, nonfiction? I think that's what it is. Nonfiction. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I know exactly. I did a video for him. That's bro. hard. Yeah. It was actually the first video I ever edited with this guy in my life, bro. Yeah. yeah. Portion video, yeah. Six. Portion and good. Yeah, it was in 2017. Gilly was listening to it? No, no, he was playing his new shit. Like, this was like fucking last week, I swear. Oh, he's playing the million dollars worth of games? Yeah, it's big, big. That's, big. that's big. one of the biggest podcasts in the world. Bro, right? I think he's number one right now. I actually think this might be number one over Rogan and shit. Yeah? I think Rogan so. Yeah, Rogan, you know what it was? It was Spotify. When he went to Spotify, he got that $100 million no, deal. Might be drink champs, though. You know what? I, I think, don't know if I think they drink champs. I think Gilly, Cause this cause might champs, be two weeks ago, though, that Gilly was number one. They just pulled fucking... Kanye, yeah, and that's fucking. Day after they had like, uh, I think it was four point one million views in one day. Oh my god! Off Kanye, off the Kanye one, right? You watched that one, right? Yeah, I had to still. I just see, like I don't know. Drink Champs is different. Like, um, fucking, what's his name, Nori? Yeah, I fuck with Nori. Why does he, he say N O R E? Is that what he's supposed to be called? Nori? Yeah. N O R E? Yeah. That's what he uses. It's like an acronym. Yeah, okay, he always says that, but everybody calls him Nori, right? But a lot of people don't even know who the fuck Nori is. Like, music wise. He was big for a while. He was big, but he only had like two big songs. Yeah. If that. But he was still but, okay. but he was around, like, he was, like, he was around everybody at the right time. Yeah, he was. He was around DMX, all, 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 all those guys. Yeah, everybody. yeah, yeah. There was a point in time where 
Hey, yo, actually looks up. He had a higher selling album than all those guys first week sales. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. That's I know. Cool. It was probably CNN, though. Not him by itself. It's him uh, and Capone. Uh, CNN. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. That would make sense. Because I think they had that one song. I don't know what it was. I was too young. Yeah, I was too young for him. It should probably drop in 92, 93. Yeah. Like, was my uncle was one. playing him and shit, you know? Like... But, but I do know, like, the more shit I remember from that time would be, like, Big Pun and shit. Yeah. And people still play themselves. Yeah, Big Pun lasted a little longer in terms of yeah, music longevity. Definitely, definitely. But it's smart. you got to move on to certain different things. That's, now he's into podcasting and he made it. Podcasting a thing. Yeah. Now he doesn't have to stress about his, his own boss. He's chilling, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, no, that's fucking sick. <laughs> But uh, yeah, dude, I was just gonna, I think we could wrap it up, you know, what, what, are, you, what are you saying? Then? What's going on with you coming up? Just I'm, just just fuck. I'm just really trying to wait till the city opens back up. We can really do, get back to what we were doing before. Yeah. Get back to the shows, get back to the, um, the event plan, all that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. There's not much we can really do right now. I know. Yeah, that's true. Just fly out to do something. And even if you go out and you fuck, like, where are you gonna go? Yeah. That's doing anything right now. Yeah, no. The states is uh, I ain't really trying to go to the states right now. Other than that, the city is fucking. The city is too much up to do anything. Yeah. That's uh, the best thing to do for me. I think for me, I have to do is stack up a. You know what I mean? Just keep stacking that music up too. Keep them all the young kids. This is the right time to be consistent. It is, man. Nothing for you to do. Watch, watch music. Yeah, listen. Nothing for YouTube. people to do. Is watch music. Yeah, I would say be consistent. If I was an artist right now, I'd be dropping a video every three weeks. Awesome. We can have. Yeah. Before we end this, um, before we end it, what uh, give a little piece of advice for the young kids coming up? You've seen a lot of these guys blow up, so obviously there's something you could contribute to them. Sure. Just gotta stay focused, you know what I mean? Just can't get caught up in the hype. That's the main thing. It's like, who said it? Who I was watching an interview today and it was, you know, Bad Alpha? No. He's like a, a battle rapper. I've heard the name like, before, I don't know what I think the shit is. Okay. It's like, one of the craziest drug is fame. Once you come up and come down, you're forever gonna to wanna to be, you know what I mean? You're forever gonna to wanna to be on that level again. Fame is crazy. You can't live for the hype. Just be consistent, you know what I mean? Just be consistent to what you're doing. That's it. Keep dropping the music. Because youth is just, bro, you just need to be around the right people. That's how I feel. We need the right, we need the right adults around the right OGs. That's it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, having a mentor is so fun. Mentor is it? It's like we had them, but we grew up it was different. A lot of these kids don't nowadays, man. And I feel like that's why we've seen a lot of this fucking. It's true. Yeah. It's sad, but fuck. Yo, you can ask any of these kids I work with, bro. I always tell them, stay out of trouble, bro. Just go to the stay studio, make trouble. music, real. Yeah, yeah no, stay, just stay safe. This like, is what you want. This life is not. Not what it, it seems. They think it's cool. Mm. You get hit with that fucking that five to ten, and you actually miss your fucking teenage years. The fuck is what are you gonna do? That's cool when you're when you're 29 and, and 30 years old. Yeah, no, it's true. You're gonna feel like you're gonna come out here and feel like you're a teenager. You get caught up in, in the hype again. Yeah, I've seen it too many times. You just gotta find something that you're good at. I do it. Find something you're good at, you're, you have passion for it, and stick with it. Yeah, dude.